What's up, what's up, what's up? People here hanging out. How are you guys doing? Can you guys see the patches up at the very, very top? Yeah. Tucker beat you, Michael. What's up, Morgan? Tucker got the dub. What's up, Dylan? Christian's in the house. Barry, Crystal, not totally. Patches are cut out a little. Okay, I'm gonna move it up just a little bit then. Can you see them all now? Been eating. What's up, cigars? Lorenzo, what's up? Morgan. Jeremy's here, Dylan. What's up, you guys? Terrified's here, waiting. What's up, Carson? Nice spread, thanks. Yep, see them all. Okay, awesome. What's up, Jeremy, Eugene? Giveaway. Well, done a couple videos on how this uh, giveaway will work here and where you needed to go to leave a comment. It was in my 1.5K giveaway video. Brennan's here, Stewart's here. Hey, thanks Morgan, I appreciate it. What's up girl? <laughs> That's funny. Guys and gals, Randy's here, nice. So, what's up Bruce? So yeah, thanks Chase, I appreciate it. Mike's in the house, what's up? Nope, haven't picked the winner yet. So it's gonna be a live giveaway to the winner. And so Lorenzo, I think I got yours on there. Buddy, I saw yours on there. Saw a few of those today. Was kind of looking through there because one of the things I asked, which was, and I'm going to double check while we're chatting here, but leave a comment in regards to, hey, Sally's here too. Nice. What's up, Sally? Leave a comment here too on that video talking about what was happening at the time. So, Peter, I think so. I hope so. You got some lucky streak there. You got a good uh, package from CRKT last time. What's up, Kevin? Thanks for all the love, Kevin. I know you guys have all been leaving lots of feedback and supportive messages. I saw Kevin's right after I posted my video today, so. Sally, I thought it was one of your spoof accounts there, Tucker. But yeah, just go ahead and leave a, uh, I'm going to double check on that video here real quick. On my other one pulling it up but I gotta look at so I basically said entry rules were like subscribe comment about your thoughts on the knife community in the last week and keep it classy so I said once I reach 1.5k subscribers I'll host the giveaway drawing from the comments on this video so if you left one and it was about the knife community you are entered to win and if not Best watch that video really fast and see what we were talking about and leave a comment. So I got to be true to everybody that, you know, what's up, Slicey? The Micarta scales are holding up good, man. Really good. And you see some marks on the blade and the back edge. Because I, uh, if you saw my Instagram today, got a little hookup today. Well, this bad boy right here. This is the new Benchmade. I think I'm gonna get the name wrong. What's up, Spencer? But this is the Fire Rod XL from Exotech. Uh, Benchmade branding. And Benchmade's putting it out. So if you ordered them from retailers or pre-ordered them, they're on the way. Yeah, the 940 with the green spacer is nice too. And basically, they'll be shipping out, I think, if they haven't already shipped. So, yeah, so that's one of the things right there. That's pretty cool. And then you screw this off at the top, and you got some fire starter right here. You can basically pull, pull a little piece off, spread it out. This thing sparks pretty well. Did a couple tests on it tonight. Try to do a video later tonight and get that posted up so you guys can see it. But pretty neat little uh, fire starter rod. So, ferro rod, however you want to call it. But this is the Fire Rod XL from Benchmade. Just came out. Got to get some. 
Uh, boxes present, sad moment. Yeah, Jeremy's here. Oh, you got the Contigo today. Nice. Carson said, what do you guys prefer if these knives? Looking to get one of them. Benchmade 560BK-1, which is this one. Benchmade Bug Out, which is one of these with the plain scales. That one's got Micarta. Benchmade Bug Out, Manix 2. G10, Delca 4. Or the Wii 17. I don't know. I'm a I'm a fan of the Freak myself. This new Benchmade Freak is awesome. So, I mean, you can't go wrong. Throw a deep pocket carry clip on there. You're set. So, anyways, let's, uh, let's, I guess, get the giveaway started. And then maybe we'll talk about some of these knives. So, can you guys see these over here? Probably not. I got a whole tray of knives over here, too. So, I'm going to move these out of the way. These are the Titanium by Rock Scale. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll show it off here in a little bit. Rogue Blade Works Carbon Fiber, the Carbon Fiber Clip on a Mini Freak. We'll check that out too. This is the Micarta, Linden Micarta, I believe, from Rogue Blade Works for the Benchmade Bug Out. And you can put them on either, either one. And this is the Honey Badger with some customized looks and feels from JT's Knife Life. And I'm just gonna say right now, if you guys haven't checked out JT's Knife Life, head over there quick. We wanna get them to 5,000 subscribers by this weekend. So, and then you guys are gonna end up being the benef beneficiaries of that, because I know he's gonna gotta be doing a nice giveaway for it, so. Anyways, and that's a bug out, dyed these scales red. There's also some companies that sell them, like EDC Specialties out of California. This is a backspacer, titanium one. From Rock Scales Design. Rock Scale Design. I like the Honey Badger. That's cool. Yeah. Finally here this time. What's up, Josh? Deadpool. Yeah, I hope you win too, man. Me and Nick. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. You're at an Ice Cube concert? Oh, man. Dang. I want to go there. Yeah, Slicey. Nice. I like that. What thumb studs are on the Freak? So I stole these thumb studs. These are red ones from one of my 940s, the Smoky Mountain Knife Works Edition one, and I slapped them on here. So it's awesome. What's up, Thomas? Yeah, nice. Tucker just hit the 40 sub mark on his YouTube, so that's cool. That's cool. Got your bare knuckle back, Bruce. Jenny's here. Yeah. Heck yeah. Like the Honey Basher, Badger. What channel should we check out? So I would say JT's Knife Life uh, is the channel to get him up to 5,000. Got a Benchmade Volley, Nathan. Nice. Yeah, JT's Knife Life. We're trying to get him to 5,000 this weekend. Be awesome. No, Brennan, I wasn't able to get it apart yet. So I tried the little trick that, uh, that you guys gave me too. And that hasn't worked yet. But let me get to this giveaway so we can get this rolling. But in the giveaway is the Benchmade Blue Toolkit, which comes with, here, I'll show it real quick. If you haven't seen one of these before, just got the Hummingbird, nice. JT, 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 yeah, we gotta hook JT up, but you gotta check one of these out if you haven't already got one. Your basic maintenance toolkit. This goes in the end here. Put your drivers in here. Get to work on your knives. You know, obviously just for uh, tightening. You know, not taking them apart because that would void your warranty. But anyways, that's pretty good stuff right there from Benchmade. It's a nice little kit for you guys. It has a belt clip on it too if you want to wear it on your belt. I guess that'd be cool. Whatever. Uh, use your Osborne today, Lorenzo. Nice. So you get a blue box tool kit. You get the Benchmade knife roll bag, which is pr freaking awesome. And then a Benchmade morale patch. So that's, that's what's on the table right now for the giveaway. So we'll put this stuff all out there. Let's see if we can fold that up, put it right there maybe. These are the three things that you'll get from this giveaway. So something's fake. Noah said something about is this fake? I don't know. I'm doing good, Terrified, thank you. Tucker said, what's the patch in the right hand corner? This one right here, this is from Gerber, 
and it's about their Empower series knives, which is uh, an auto made here in Portland, Oregon, USA. So that's their patch there. Some cool stuff. CRKT, uh, Recon 1. This is Tamara at Recon 1's patch. Benchmade Edge of Perfection, a Portland patch. And then Microtech here in this corner here. Like the Armadillo. Okay. Got to run, Kevin. All right, thanks, buddy. We'll be doing the giveaway here right now. Benchmade definitely needs more all patches. <laughs> Fastball looks promising. All right, so here we go. This is the 1K giveaway video. Thanks, Zach, for the giveaway. I guess we'll just talk uh, to myself there. But this is the 1K or 1.5K giveaway. We've copied the link. We'll go over here to the random comment picker. We will delete this link. And we will put in the copied link. And we will filter out the duplicates and we will get the comments. 162. What's up, Rado and John? Good to see you guys. Made it for it. So 162 unique comments or commentors. So we will scroll down here to pick a winner. And this is the winner of the Benchmade Knife Roll Bag, the Morale Patch, and the Toolkit. And stick around because there might be something else. Here we go. Winner, winner, winner. Hopefully you guys are live. Gary Yap. He says, let me pull it back here so we can read it. Awesome channel achievements, Zach. You're really pumping in subscribers into the channel on the Benchmade matter. I believe angry people just, just did not get enough info on the matter and just become trigger happy and just shoot. Give them time, and I recognize they will calm down and realize what had happened. Normally, we don't hear from them again. Anyways, Gary Yap, you have one week to make shipping arrangements from right now to get this out to you. So like I said again, it will be the knife roll bag, the morale patch, and the blue box kit. So, should we do something else? Should we give something else away? I feel like we should. Let's just, you know, how I roll. So let's see here, hold on. What can we put together? Go Gary carbon fiber scales for your bug out yeah man they are awesome the carbon fiber scales on the bug out are nice no no one wants free stuff exactly john uh i wonder what we should do hmm i don't know what we have here let me see let me see what we can put together really quick how about grab what i have on the table Grab what I have around me here. Obviously, the knives, you know, you guys would go crazy for that. But I think we're going to be holding out something for my 2000. If you guys can, you know, get me rolling up to 1750, 2000 here in the next month, I'll be giving some awesome stuff away. So let's see. Let me grab something else. Let's do. How about, has anybody checked out the knife pivot lube heavy? KPL heavy? Yeah, the turret. Yeah, heck yeah. So let's do a bottle of this. KPL Heavy. It's the knife pivot lube. Made in the USA. Let's do... Let's see here. What else can we do to give away? Let's give away... Yeah, you need to try some KPL. Super freak, yeah. You never know what 2000 will bring, you know? Got two bottles, Steve. Nice, nice. Is it better than the Blue Lube? So I've just... Yeah, you hear it tastes good. I haven't tried it out in comparison, but I will tell you this. I saw a posting tonight. I haven't watched it yet, but Blade Banter on YouTube, he just put out like a marathon knife, um, lube, lubricant, like challenge. You know, it goes through like all the major brands, it looks awesome. So go over, check out that from Blade Manor. He does some awesome stuff. Very technical, very scientific in what he does. That's the guy to check it out and compare it. But I'm just going to give a bottle away of that. Now let's see what else can I put with it. How about, let's see here. How 
I don't have it with me, but I have a Mighty Hank. You ever seen the Mighty Hanks? They're like, um, yeah. So they're, I'm going to talk about this one here in a minute. This 940 right here. Kapara, I know. You carried it much? Yeah, I carried it a few times. Not too bad. He has too much time on his hands. <laughs> yeah. No, that's good, Slicey. Blade Banner is awesome, man. He And I, I can't wait to check that out. I'm going to watch it when I'm done with this live stream and be like, bam, let's do this. Because he, I sent him a message on it, and he sent me a message back and said that he did. It took a while to get through it because he did like five, five different rounds with each knife, with each lube, cleaning it in between each one. You know, with like alcohol wipes and stuff is what how he did it before. So I don't know if he did the same thing again, but he cleans it off, tears the whole knife apart. It's awesome. Yeah, exactly, Slicey. It's going to be great. So we'll get through this one. So let's see. We got a bottle of knife pivot lube. on. I'm going to do a giveaway again. Another random one from that same drawing. Um, or for that same, same video. KPL knife pivot lube. How about... I think I might have an extra Benchmade patch in here. Let's throw in a Benchmade patch, Edge of Perfection, brand new packaged. Got a Benchmade sticker, I think, here too. I'll find one of those in a second. But we can also do, yeah, let's screw it, let's do it. How about one of these? I might have picked up two of these today. A couple of them. Let's, let's throw one of these in. So, you get it. This new Fire Rod XL from Exotech and Benchmade. Bottle of knife, pivot lube, heavy, and a Benchmade patch. How about that for right now? Let's put that together as a little giveaway. All right, let's get the iPad back out. See what we got here. What's up, Big Red? Nice. Yeah, Big Red's in the house now. Now we can really do it. Yeah, Nate's Benchmade for the win. Thanks, Nate. At work, okay. Roger that. You ever get that Benchmade shop man? No, Steve. Man, I'm so bummed about that. I and I don't know if I told you the story, but you probably saw my little uh, pouting on uh, Instagram. I sent a little message because it's like I literally sent a message and I said, "Hey, I wanted to get that that Benchmade trainer because I can tell you, Benchmade's good people." Um, you know, I pick up a lot of Benchmade knives and they take good care of me at Benchmade. And so I saw the trainer. Yeah, you did. Yeah, okay. So you saw the trainer thing and I sent him, I sent him a message said, Hey, I want to buy the trainer from you guys. This is Blade HQ. They had a really cool, like 940 Osborne shop mat for like tearing knives apart and working on them. And I'm like, man, I'm a 940 guy. I love it. So I'm like, but I want to order that trainer. Does that count towards their like free mat giveaway? Well, they got back to me like the following day, but by that time they were all sold out of them. So anyways, boo-hoo to me. They'll do it again, I'm sure, in like 10 years. But anyways, let's pick another winner and not, not worry about that. But if anybody has an extra one laying around or you see one at somebody's house and they want to like part ways with it for like a you know cool sticker or something, then let's do that. So we're going to pick another winner. Still on the same one here. And we'll just go from there. Yeah, I should just do another one. Just start picking up random things. Be like, hey, I got this uh, this mini Sharpie. I got a, uh, a battery. I got, I'll give it away. Heck yeah. Got a Chipotle, uh, you know, card. Let's see here. Okay, here's another winner. Ferro Rod, man. The new Fire Rod XL from Benchmade. Blackwood Blades. Okay, we'll screenshot that. My opinion about the community is, do your research before posting and boycotting a company. All right, Blackwood Blades, hopefully you're watching. If not, you got a week to make shipping arrangements. If not, I'll be giving this away to somebody else. And this is pretty awesome stuff. I did a couple test strikes on it tonight, right before I got in here. Good stuff here, so if you have an opportunity, Maybe uh, Blade HQ, Smoky Mountain Knife Works had them pre-sale. Uh, get over, you know, throw one in your cart and check out with it because it's pretty cool stuff. Everyday City Carry, what's up, dude? Yeah, dropping in. Yeah, appreciate the props, man. 
That's good stuff. So half eaten burrito. Yeah, I could do that too. Yeah, Blackwood. Yeah, if you know Blackwood, if he's not watching right now, if you know him, send him a message. Tell him he's good. What's up, Andrew? We didn't pick you, man. Sorry, you didn't win. You're a winner in my book, though. You all are. I wish I could give stuff away to all you guys. That'd be awesome. I do have some cool giveaways coming up. And I know I'm at like... So, yeah, that's a good question, Jenny. Uh, the Firestarter runs retail at 45 from Benchmade. And I think from other uh, other retailers, I think from like... Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, you never really chatted on live, EDCC? Well, welcome, man. Everyday City Carry. Yeah, if you haven't checked out his, he's got some cool editing. Man, I wish I had your editing talent, man. You put you do some great reviews and put some cool stuff together. So he's another good channel to go check out. I mean, Slicey just hit like, what, 7,000 or something? So congrats to him. But yeah, Ray, exactly. It's my boy Ray. Nice. Tucker's doing a 100 giveaway. That's cool. Uh, one of the things I will say is... Before we get into the other stuff, uh, Jenny wanted to know how much these fire rods are. And this fire rod XL runs 45 retail from Benchmade from other knife retailers. I'll have to look it up really quick, but I think it's like in the 30, upper 30s maybe. Let me see real quick. I got Smoky Mountain pulled up because I'm waiting to get some uh, Rogue Blade Work scales from them. So, you know. All the important stuff. I won't tell you which ones because I don't want you guys to buy them. Because that stuff's sweet. He was teasing it the other day. It's kind of mad. So I'm like, oh man, tease it, can't buy it. So it looks like 3825 and you can pre order them. You're doing a giveaway at 7500 Every 2500 That's awesome, Slicey. Cool. Yeah, so Jenny, 3825 from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. Same with probably Blade HQ and others. Uh, you can also get them from Benchmade directly. I think they're about 45. Uh, I'm not sure what shipping charges are going to be, but yes, totally, Jenny. And let me know. Send me a message um, or an email or something. We can chat to you because you need to put a little birthday package together for that guy. But you can get. Yeah, Tucker, I mean, it's all price, you know. This this one comes with fire starter and stuff like that. So, you know, I want to check it out, give back to you guys. So, yeah, I bought a couple of them today. But, yeah, you can definitely do some other ones. Blue is nice. You know, it's definitely from Exotech. And I like that it has the uh, rubber gasket on here at the top. So... You can see this rubber gasket right here. So you could actually maybe put some stuff in here. You know, maybe some kerosene, maybe something else. Put that in there so it kind of sits in it and soaks it. And you can see how much stuff it comes with. And this stuff, just a little tiny bit you pull off, expands quite a bit. Hopefully I can get this stuff back in there. There we go. But yeah, they're pretty cool. I mean, check one out if you need one. They fit, you know, in like the... Bushcrafter, you know, holsters, um, the Puka holsters. Uh, but you'll see a review on this coming up soon. I'm going to try to do a video, get it up on Instagram, maybe tonight or tomorrow, just so you can see it at night and go from there. So, yeah. One of the other things I want to feature, it's not paid because, well, I bought it. But this pocket right here, this little pocket from Pocket uh, Caddy from Recycled Firefighter, this is pretty neat stuff. And you know, you can, you can go all out and put like, let's see if I can get a pen here. You can put a pen right here in the elastic. Go for that. This is a bigger one, but still fits. You can throw in, you know, let's say you got, I don't know what else you want to put in here. Put in a knife. And this one's made out of their, like that brown boot leather they do. And it's smooth. It's so smooth. Even the inside's smooth. So it's not going to scratch up anything. We'll throw a couple things in here. And it's nice because it's all together. You know what I mean? That's the nicest part. Uh, let's see what else do I have around to put in here. Here we go. Uh, I should probably move these over a little bit better here. But yeah, pretty excited. And he just did a repost on his Instagram that... 
He loaded it up today, so I kind of maybe bought a different type. But I'm not going to say which one because I might be putting that in my next giveaway. So we'll see. But anyways, so you could you could do this. You could throw in. You got your, you know, this is a, a large size uh, Streamlight. It takes two um, AAAs. But it's pretty bright. You know, got your bug out in there. Got a pen next to it. And you just throw this in your pocket. He makes right-handed and left-handed versions. So it would just be opposite cut. Go in each pocket. So let's see that. Let's see the Damas bug out. Yeah, so this is pretty nice. I think he retails these for like 29 bucks. And if it's your first time on his website, they like do this little like raffle thing. And you can get like 10% off, 20% off stuff sent out to your email. So you can purchase it with a discount. So it's pretty good. It's pretty neat. And here's this bug out. You guys have seen this is the gold class for 2019, the unlimited limited for 2019. So they will make as many as people will buy. And then December 31st, 2019, they are gone. So we'll do another little test with it here in just a minute. All right, Slicey, take care, man. Morning TV and tapings. All right, have fun. Yeah. RFF has some cool things. Oh, yeah, Recycled Firefighter. They have so much cool stuff. You guys probably saw my other one on the front pocket wallet. It's in my other room. Dang, I should have brought that with it. But that one's pretty nice, too. And it's a, it's a pretty slim line one, you know. And I like a front pocket wallet. It's good for me. So, yeah, the ferro rod would fit in there, too. And I think one of the other things, you know, I was talking to some people today, some really smart, smart people that are like, way more involved in outdoor activities than myself. You know, I may go out, you know, a couple times a year, but these are people that, you know, they're going to be out every weekend. And there's the ferro rod in there. And that works good too. And they were just like, you know, basically taking this and, you know, even if you want to put it in your pack or put it in one of your pockets, you know, grab some paracord, run some paracord off of here. Let me grab a piece of it so you can see what it looks like. It's nice stuff, though. And then I'm going to bring in some other knives, too, here really quick. Hold on. Let's see here. Cut a piece of paracord here really quick. Of course, I don't have anything to burn it with. But you guys will get the idea. There's that, that one. So question of the day is, what are you guys carrying today? What you carrying? What's in your pockets? If you guys saw my Instagram, you saw what I carried today, which was the super smooth, super sweet Anthem. I mean, look how smooth that is on thrust bearings. Gold class bug out, Natrix copper. Nice, nice. And then my other one was the Micarta from Rogue Blade Works on the bug out. Standard blue bug out. Jealous of mine. Hey, the Freak and the 940. Nice. Rakiri. How did that go, Big Red? You like that one? Is that like a, a common EDD for you or EDC for you? Love the unlimited limited. Yeah, that's nice. Kaiser Feist. Pair of three, 940 bug out, swapped all through. Oh, and Tucker's just rolling it. 20 CV mini grip. Oh, nice. CV backlash. Rado's got the Benchmade 737 and the 5 through. Ooh, the 5 through one. He picked up one of these. Nice. Rado got one of these. Should we do the glow in the dark test real quick? Still naked Turner, man. We need to get you hooked up with some stuff, man. You need to go see my friends at Benchmade. I'll take care of you, man. AK-47. Nose on load and a little wider. Oh, okay. Are you testing out for a video? Seeing what's up? Give us the, the inside scoop on it. I need to tie this one off. Working on just putting that paracord 
on that. Obviously, I didn't have anything to burn that with, so the one side's going to be a little jagged. But, you know, just put a little piece of paracord on there. You can put some longer ones on. You could braid one onto here. You know, the nice part about that is, is you put a little bit longer one on, especially if you do some loose knots like this all the way up it, you can basically go back through and start trimming it off. If you need some fire starter, you run out. So that's always good because this stuff burns pretty, pretty good. So anyways, yeah, let's do the, let's do the test on that. But yeah, recycledfirefighter.com. This, this is pretty cool stuff and he's got wallets and little packs and I got a little gear pack that I keep in my bag that has like, you know, a little toolkit, some cleaning material. Um, so if I need to on the fly, I need to take care of a knife or just something because, you know, I like to chat with people about things. But all right, let's test out. Got my flashlight here. Bad Mama Jamma from Claris. This is the XT2CA. It's rechargeable right here, micro USB. Let's check that out. So we'll light this one up for a few seconds. You can already see it starting to glow. I want to get those handles glowing a little bit. What's up, Jace? We just did a little giveaway. Now we're checking out some knives. Let's turn off this light. And you see how much that glows already, and that's not even the pitch dark. Yeah, so this is the 535-191. It's the bug out. It's the limited unlimited for 2019. So I just love it. It's great. So anyways, get back to what you guys are carrying and look at some of these other knives here. Nate's getting custom scales for his bug out. What would my pick be between titanium or carbon fiber? Ooh, Nate, that's a rough choice, man. So basically you're saying for the bug out, I didn't bring my titanium ones, they're in the other room. So titanium similar to these for the 940, but just a different shape, not similar I guess. Same, it's almost the same material, but from Rock Scale Design, those are awesome. Just did a video on that, it's good stuff. But basically putting them on the bug out or the carbon fiber. Now I can tell you this, the carbon fiber is this pretty much the same material you're going to see right here because these are made by Rogue Blade Works. I love his milling. It's good stuff. And this material right here, you know, um, right through here is actually milled. So it's got a little bit of texture. So I don't know if we can see. You can see that texture right into it. So grip wise, you hold on to it and it's good on both sides. So. I like the carbon fiber for the daily use because the titanium seems to mar up a little bit. The only thing I've found about is basically on this one with the milling lines being at an angle, it doesn't mar up like the other one and it provides some traction. So I would almost want to go with maybe milled titanium on my bug out now that I've got a hold of these if they could do the same critter pattern. I don't know if you could mill this over top of the critter pattern, but if you could, that'd be awesome. Or just do it on the flat titanium. Um, you're gonna pay a little bit more for the titanium than the carbon fiber, so that's something to consider as well too. I saw something up there, Let's see. Oh, Thomas is here, what's up Thomas? Blade banners in the house, man. Yeah, the titanium ones are nice. But I don't, I, I'm like too afraid. If you've seen the one I have that's like brass and blue colored, the critter scales, I'm really afraid to carry that because I've carried it a few times and it scratches really easily because it's like a flat polished. And I know that's like part of the deal is getting some marks on it. But some of those you're like, man, because I don't have any means to like repolish it or anything or resand it down. So I'd probably have to send them back to them to get them retouched up. But yeah, it's the way it goes. Bring out the Kapara so I can drool over it. Yeah, let me see if I can find that. It should be around here somewhere. One of my areas. Big Red's out, man. Take care, buddy. Yeah, Blade Banner, I literally hit you up like near the beginning of this and just said, because we I gave away a bottle of the KPL Heavy in a secondary giveaway. And I said, the guy, the man, the myth, the legend did all the testing and like, 
is super scientific about it was you and you just posted that. So myself, Slicey, a bunch of other people are going to be like, Hey, we're, we're rocking it. So go over, see blade banners video. You're doing all the testing from all the heavy hitters on it and being scientific about it. So clean them in between each one time for a new blade on my 940. We don't like this blade. Is that what you're saying? New blade on this one, John, <laughs> You can see the missing parts from the serrations. You'll have the spreadsheet soon. Okay, cool. Yeah, and uh, to answer your other question, uh, Blade Banner, um, Steve uh, sent me some emails, and I haven't been able to respond to them, so I'm going to do that tonight. And so I don't know if there's something in there about the Kapara or not. I know I have two emails. I have, like, over 700 emails in my inbox I just haven't read yet. So I'm sure I, like, missed a bill or something, too. So I got to hit that stuff up tonight, so... But yeah, so this one right here, I had it sharpened a few times, and I'll tell you what, I would love to get a new blade on it, but here's the problem. This is the one that started it all for me. I know I talked a little bit about it uh, the other night, but this is the 940, and it's first production, eight of a thousand. So that's one of those that like, it's got the wear on it. I carried it for a couple years, and then after it sharpened a couple times, I took it in again for like the fourth or fifth time or something like that. Maybe it was third or fourth and they were like, uh, steel on this one is the 154 CM. And basically they were like, like, dang, you need to basically put this baby away and, you know, get a different one. So I did. So I'm leaving that one how it is, you know, I'm just keeping it now. I'm not carrying it, all that good stuff. So. Number eight, yeah, it's pretty cool. And how I got it was it was actually donated uh, from one of the uh, upper management at Benchmade to a um, drawing, you know, as a fundraiser for uh, local law enforcement who was severely injured, um, shot during uh, an incident. So kind of a crazy, stupid deal. And uh, yeah, so a lot of story behind that, but you know, hindsight, you're like, man, I wish I would have kept that, you know, brand new. But at the time I'm like, Hey, it's just an awesome knife. I'm going to carry it every day and use it. You know, that's what we're made for. So anyways, but yeah, let's bring out some other knives, talk about them. If you guys have any questions about any of these on here, or you want to see any others, just let me know. We've got the Saibu Nakamura here. Got some awesome, like Coco Bolo style wood. It is meant to be used totally. And I know the serration haters, but that's what got me in love with Benchmade serrations. Got the 20 CV on this one. The finish to the blade is like perfect, like stone wash. But yeah, this is the this is the one that got the serration, you know, in my mind. So, you know, even you get get down to the super freak down here. I bought one of serrations too. So you'd love to see the Puko. Is that what I'm hearing on here or seeing? Um is the thumb stud in the same location as the standard Nakamura? So this one's the Saibu. So I don't know. Are you talking about the other Nakamura? I could probably go try to find mine, but it's probably somewhere in a box. Blade Banner, if you let me know, I can try to go find that and post it up later. Hey, thanks, Kaylin. I appreciate it. Appreciate all your guys' support. Josh is here too. Nice. You like the first Nakamura? Yeah, that first one's nice. You'd love to see the Puko. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go get the Puko. wonder if they do the 535-181 with serrations. Um, so the, the Damascus steel, I don't think they're putting serrations on that one at all. Thumb stud's not as high on that one. Hopefully that gives you a better look of it. I need to do a good video and compare them. That would be good. Compare the different ones. The Saibu is a little smaller than the other Nakamura. I know that as well. I love this one though. I mean, see-through design. Super smooth. All right, let me go get the Puko. We'll show that one. I think Jenny wanted to see this one too. The Honey Badger. When is the next giveaway? So I'm going to do another giveaway at 
1750 which I think I'm pretty close to 1550 right now. So that's only like, what, 200 away? So as soon as I can get 200 more subscribers, I'm gonna do another giveaway. So I try to rank James Brand so they'll participate in the group. Oh, nice. That's cool, man. That's awesome. Yeah, they got some good stuff. Dude, Blade Banner's rocking it. Seriously, go check out his channel because that guy does so much work for our pass around group and hooks us up with the knives you're seeing. And if you saw my post tonight, my video I post up tonight on the Wii Scamp, that little slip joint, um, you'll see another one post up here tomorrow on the other one. It's nice stuff. So, John, how do you get in the group? Start your channel up, man. And we'll talk about it. You know, we'll have to see uh, see if we can get the the go ahead for that one. But yeah, let me grab my Puko. Be right back. Be like. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Get a Puko. 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 Hello, Puko. Puko there. Hello, Puko. That's too funny. Okay. I had a Puko box in here, but I was like, dang. Let's do it, John. Yeah. Oh, cool. You subbed to Blade Banner. Yeah, yeah, man. Sign up with Blade Banner. Do I still use Proper's for EDC? So I got, I got probably half my Proper's I use for EDC. And the other half are in a case. And I have a cool, sweet, I have to say sweet, sweet, sweet proper coming back. I took one apart here about a week ago, and I sent it out to get anodized. Nelly, got a picture of it yesterday, got put into shipping today. Should be back super soon. Very excited for that. So... Yeah, it's going to be nice. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here's the Puko. It's one I've been using a little bit. This is the Benchmade Puko and the 3V Steel. The model number is 200. Benchmade 200 Puko. Have to do a video on it? Yeah, I'll do a video on that proper for sure. You need a few to mod. Yeah, Jace, how do you enter the giveaway? Um, so is the handle rubbery? Yeah, this is a rubbery, a little bit harder than the standard rubbery, but it, it literally is just like so comfortable in the hand. And I, if you haven't seen it, go look at my channel. You can either look under the, uh, the actual, like, you know, bench made one that I did and posted a bunch of bench made videos in, or just search the 200 Puko or search, uh, what's inside this Benchmade 200 Puko or what's inside the Puko because I cut the handles off one of these Pukos and yeah, you can get to see all that. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, so you can see, you know, this Puko is pretty nice. Size wise, we'll put it up here so you can compare it to a couple others, even the folding knives. And then I would assume this, I haven't tried it yet. I would assume this is like a perfect fit, right? We'll see if it is. It's like a perfect fit. Fits in there, man, nice and tight. Slicey, it's good to go. So there's your combo right there. I guess I need to get some blue or black paracord to match since this orange kind of zombie cambo is not doing it. Exactly. Yeah, try to not say too much because who knows what my, the rest of my channel will look like after that. So that's the Puko. You have the same one. Grave. Nice. Oh, okay. You saw that one. That one's what I got it into. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'll go back through and look at that. If you guys have any, seriously, like, if anybody has an inside track on one of those Benchmade Osborne mats from Blade HQ... Let me know. Um, also, selling a couple knives. If anybody's interested, I have a knife up for sale right now. It is a sequel. It's the 707 Shot Show exclusive from 2017. 
Yeah, orange would be cool. For the ferro rod, for the fire rod XL from Benchman. <laughs> oh, that's yours? Oh, you want that? Well, hey, man, just send me a message, John. We'll make arrangements for it. But I got it for sale right now for three twenty five, dollars Brand new in the box. And I think the number is... I'll have to look at the number. I forgot. John probably remembers. You got a Kapara for sale? No, no Kapara yet. I do have the Sog Terminus. Yep, I still have that one. Don't carry it very much because of that goofy pocket clip on it. Oh, John remembers it's 73. That's right. It's in that number series. It's that special number series. Oh, okay. Check in with LTK. Made him a spreadsheet for knife sales. Okay. That was nice of you, Blade Banner. Man, I tell you what, if there's anybody that gets like points for kindness and good deeds, it's Blade Banner. So definitely, definitely props on that. So let's see here. Let's see, check out some others. Got to head out, Jace. All right, man. I appreciate you joining, man. That's awesome. Got right in the rain pin there. Got my little Benchmade knife stand. Let's move this stuff off to the side a little bit. Let's take a look at some other knives. I'm going to put a couple trays up here. You guys let me know what you want to see off the tray. Here's one. And then the other one. I'm just going to have to hold this one for a second. Got the turret, a blue and black rift, blue and gray G10, Benchmade Griptilian, the Shot Show exclusive fact. The full size freak from last year, dealer exclusive from Benchmade. The Benchmade 940 2 with rock scales and a bug out died with a backspacer. And then over here, we got the Anthem. We got those sweet carbon fiber scales from Rogue Blade Works. We got a 940 Smoky Mountain Knife Works Edition, black, black and red, carbon fiber, contoured. You got the Knife Works. You got the Going Gear. Several others, but I didn't get them out tonight. Thomas said, not a huge Benchmade fan, but still have have an inch, including a couple rare ones, like a 484 Nakamura December. Oh, prototype, nice. Yeah, that would be cool to get one of those prototypes. That's nice. Can you send a homemade little knife stand like the small Benchmade one? Made of wood, are you going to send on that? Could you send me one? Stand or burn? Yeah, you can send me whatever you want. That's all cool. You like that blue and black rift, Michael? Yeah, yeah. So this is a cool one, and it's that kind of mix of carbon fiber they did. And I, I like the way they did it. And it's not as rigid of carbon fiber, or uh, rigid of G10 carbon fiber mix as in the other one. So I don't know if the carbon fiber helps smooth it out. But in the other rifts, it feels more, you know, these cut out pieces here feel you know a little more stronger i guess rigid wise this is 681 of 800 so i made 800 of these nice yeah the colors are pretty sweet and they have black barrel spacers kind of see-through design there easy for cleaning it's got that ever mighty um split arrow pocket clip it's the best rift you've ever seen yeah I, the only one I would say that is, like, in my mind, comparison, is they make an orange one. I don't know if you've seen that one. It's like an orange one. That's And I had to get the orange one, you know, the orange one with that. So, get anything else from Burnside Knives? Yeah, I do have one from Burnside Knives. Let me see if I have it here. Hold on. Out here somewhere. It's in my pile here. Showed it off a little bit. I got their new, I got their new Mighty Pen, which is friggin' awesome. I've been carrying this one. I mean, it's got the, you know, space pen refill on it, but it's got the Burnside knives and then it's got the glass breaker, but it's their Mighty Pen. They make them in this color and also a kind of flat black for more tactical. And I'll tell you what, like this stuff, the milling on these, these slots right here are 
a lot more texture-y, I guess. They have a little more of an edge. Hey, what's up, Brad? Welcome. But these are smooth. They smooth all these out, which makes it so nice. So it's just perfect. I do use the Benchmade pens. I actually carry one every day. I just took all my stuff off when I got home from work. I carry uh, my titanium one. Hold on. Grab it. I love that one. It's so awesome. All right, so here's what's kind of my makeup for my everyday carry stuff. I don't know, this is my Benchmade pen. It's got the O-ring in it. This is their titanium, their blue titanium. But it's awesome. Carry this one every day. So you can see I've had this one for maybe nine months, a year. And it looks pretty nice. So, I mean, that's the titanium one, so it's going to run you a little more. They make a Damasteel steel one too, which that'd be awesome to get, but that's a lot of my price range right now. Had to buy my other ones. Yeah, Blade Banner, I'm just reading your, your message there about the uh, Burnside Knives. They have some great designs. And at the last Sportsman show in Portland, I went out there and, uh, and had some great conversations with them. And he's got some great designs coming too. So he kind of snuck a couple prototypes, showed them to me. I don't know if you've ever seen these, you know, these Lynch all access passes. Lynch Northwest, just an amazing guy, Casey Lynch is. Made in the state of Washington. So go Washington, made in the USA. This is kind of the uh, anodized one, the sunburst pattern on the back, but carry this one every day too. It's good stuff. So, yeah, so that's part of my ADC there. And along course with the flashlight, we'll put all those together. And I think one of the things is right now, like, um, I heard, yeah, you should make more for Benchmade. Do I think a limited edition mini freak is coming this year? Connor? Yeah, he is good people there, John. Burnside Knives, good people. Very passionate. So going back, yeah, Lynch, Lynch clips are awesome. And Connor, I would say a mini freak. So here's a mini freak. I obviously put the carbon fiber scales on from Rogue Blade Works, which is beautifully amazing work. Even the backspacer is done in carbon fiber and the pocket clip. I would say Benchmade will miss out if they don't do a G10 Mini Freak. I don't know about a limited edition because these, you know, these Super Freaks right here, you know, are not limited edition, but they're beautiful. They're gorgeous. And so I think they will need to do another one to keep this rolling. So see you later, CK. Thanks for joining. Yeah, the scales make the Mini Freak. It's awesome. Oh, Brad, you got your Puka a couple days ago. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, do you EDC it? Do you carry it on your belt? Or is it for, like, camping, throw it in the rig? All right, sounds good, Lorenzo. Thanks for joining, man. Appreciate it. Get some rest. But, yeah, they got it. I mean, the handles on this. And I'll tell you what, I got some, so I saw um, JT's Knife Life um, got the black ones with a, like a kind of a nude, sorry, not nude, natural G10 backspacer, uh, kind of a green one. And it was awesome. And I'm like, man, I got to get some. So I ordered the natural J G10 ones for mine. And man, I loved it. It was so nice. I picked them up. I think I got them in October last year. And I immediately ordered the carbon fiber ones because I was like, yep, that's where it's at. And uh, picked up another set while I was there because he made it out to Blade Show West. So that was awesome. 
Kaylin's carrying the Ontario Rat One. Yeah, right on. That's a great. That's a great knife. But yeah, I don't know, Brad, if you're still there. Is it Brad? Yeah. Let me know if that Puko is carrying on you. How much do those set you back? Are they tough to get? It'll be for bush trips. Oh, okay. I can't carry a fixed blade in town. I got you. That makes sense. You're liking the Kershaw Echelon? I think that you should bring that one back, huh? That might be good. I haven't tried that one. You don't like to look a natural G10. Yeah, I mean, it's not for everybody. I mean, here's here's the one Benchmade made last year. You know, and they did a Cerakote, uh, silver Cerakote on the blade. But I'll tell you what, you know, it's to each his own. I mean, I have the mini, mini version of this one, and it's nice. I love it. I'm not a fan of the lime green backspacer that Benchmade put on there, but... You know, it's what it, what made it. You know, and they got a coated split arrow clip. I would switch that out, but it's a coated one that came with it. So, you like the lime green? Man, I don't know. Maybe it's just the natural jade G10 and the lime green don't mix for me. I like the black. If it was like black and green or maybe a darker color. Yeah. I Morgan, I need to basically take this one apart and try to make a different backspacer. Because I have a natural jade colored one on the one... Rogue Blade Works made for me, and I love it. Hey, hey, Steve Hoover's here. What's up, Steve? It does get very dirty very fast. Mine's dirty. I haven't cleaned it yet. I was just going to get like a uh, baby wipe or something, clean it up. Should do it pretty good. Got the, got the Super Freak, of course. Little Burnside Knives. Put that one over there. Put that one up. All my patches are falling now. Yeah, I ordered a little patch roll. Uh, somebody in my live stream the other day. Oh, it does clean up nice. That's good. Somebody made a comment about Bastion. Super freak. Super freak. Super freak. Um, still do the Ritter grips. Yeah, I mean, they're, you know, the freaks is kind of what took its place. You know? I mean, if you, you know, if you see my video, I did a comparison to the new Hogue. Do I have it out here? I don't think I have it out here. I have the box here, but not the knife. I think it's in my safe. But yeah, that Hogue Ritter knife is pretty cool. Very smooth, very smooth. That, that new uh, Able lock, which is the upgraded access lock that they put in there. And kind of interesting, I tore it apart and I'm waiting for, so in our pass around group, we have a Hogue knife coming. Oh, Bastion's doing some knives in second quarter. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just got their, their knife roll. Or not knife roll. It's a knife, uh, basically a Velcro morale patch kind of fold-out thing. Yeah, the Hogue Ritter RSK MK1-2 or something. Uh, official name on it. All right, Tucker. Get some rest, man. Have a good night. Go check out Tucker's channel. Doing some good work over there. Yeah, Blade Banner's in the house, man. I appreciate Blade Banner joining me, man. And I, I know, literally, I don't care what time I'm wrapping this up here in a little bit, but I'm going to basically be uh, X5 is the next one from Hogue. Dude, that X5, I checked that out, and it's nice. And they sent one of those for my 1,000 giveaway. I like that one. That's really nice. It's really nice. I wanted to keep it. I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't give it away. I'm like, no, 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 can't do that. Um, technical question. If I can't get knife lube, what can I use on the pivot? Well, there's a lot of different things you can use. Some people use some sort of like gun oil, Warncliffe version, which is Neil Hogue's favorite. Oh, nice. Yeah, totally. That Warncliffe is nice, nice, nice. Mineral oil is good. You know, Blade Banner did his comparison, which, uh, you know, the last one he did was all about, you know, using mineral oil versus KPL and Blue Lube. So, Slicey's selling his X5 tonight. Oh, Slicey, you got to message me, man. Let me know about that. Kluver's got the inside scoop. Yeah, you know, that's going to be the best. Um, I've seen some wild stuff like... 
Yeah, real oil is good from fishing shop. Um, where are you at that you can't get knife? Just one Australian deer to stock the super freak. Brennan, oh, are you down there? Morgan, I can't remember where you're at there. Most of these guys are pretty good in northern Mexico. Yeah, most of these guys are pretty good about shipping stuff like, you know, bench made with blue lube, you know, knife pivot lube, shipping unit. Because they're, they're regular knife pivot lubes like, I think, nine bucks or two bottles for like 15 bucks or something. So if you can rally that up and get that shipped out to you, that stuff will last you a long time. But mineral oil is going to be your closest local one. It's probably like, you know, a quarter of the cost, I would guess. I haven't priced out mineral oil, but yeah, that's awesome. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get a really cool knife for my 2000 giveaway. Amazon in Mexico. Okay. Play HQ would be good too. Yeah. You're Steve Clues using real oil the most of the time. Any favorite real oil that you like? Brad said uh, to Brendan, try a knife shop in Australia. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. See what Steve Kluver's got for real oil on there. The real oil. Oh, it's like the real oil. Okay. It's like the legit stuff. It's like, what are you using? The real oil. That's it. That's all you get. The real oil. Yeah, so I know there's a lot of there's a lot of cool knives coming out, and then I was told that I need to keep my checkbook floating some money in there. Good old WD forty works. Just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> You're trying to like throw people off there, Rado. Oh, they don't have it in their stores yet. Okay, I see what he's saying, Brennan. Mexico imports on knives are really strict. It's actually illegal to EDC any knife here. Really. That's wild. Need to lock the doors. Better just walked on in. Oh, nice. That's kind of scary. Reader oil, day walk. Okay. Lots of gray areas in the law, though. Huh. That That's kind of weird, but I guess, you know, laws are different everywhere. Yeah, I find it weird because it's like anytime you go on a trip or you fly somewhere, reply to his comment. Did I miss something, Blade Banner? I'm sorry. I'm seeing if I missed anything. Oh, the Daywa Real Oil. Okay. Nice. You could carry, Kalen said I could carry a small fixed blade, but I choose not to. Doors are locked. Nice. Laws in Canada are pretty bad too. Look at England and all the stabbings that are full paranoid mode over there. No, he just said, who let me in? Oh, yeah, yeah, from before. Yeah, lock the door. No, that's good. That's good. I don't understand the Canada thing because I was talking to a couple people that do shipping up there. And they're talking about like, let's say you buy this one from Going Gear. Which, if you don't have it, you should get it. It's pretty sweet. Red all around, if you like the red accents. And they said something like, if the knife can be swung, like swung open in that fashion, like you flip down, then basically, see you later, Brennan. Appreciate you joining. Then basically, it's illegal. But if you tighten the pivot all the way up, and it can't be flipped out or anything like that, then it's, it's legal. So I don't get it. And it's like a, every other inspection thing. But then there's the... I'm trying to remember who did it. I don't want to get the channel wrong, but somebody was saying that certain companies have a little more leeway with customs up there. It's weird. Should be able to ship them down on a big truck, you know? Be like, we're here to sell a bunch of stuff. So you guys have any ideas for uh, next live giveaway? 
I've done some stuff in the past where I kind of do like, yeah, gravity drop versus inertia. It's weird. Yeah, exactly. Kitchen knives. I mean, it's like, duh. It's like, well, when the door alarm goes off or the window alarm goes off, it's like, whatever. Benchmade or any brand for seventeen fifty. That's only like two hundred away. Skip the whole process and send me some tie scales. Yeah, I'm. I'm. That's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to figure out like, are people gonna go with? Like, if I got some scales, some bug out scales, are people gonna be like able to put them on their knife, or is that just gonna encourage you to buy a bug out? I mean, either way, it's a win win for Benchmade and whatever scales I get. So, but I don't know. Titanium scales are a little rough. Bug out scales, that's what I'm seeing a lot of. But should I do like maybe G10 or carbon fiber? You should get some of the past winners to show off their goods. I should, yeah, that's pretty good. I asked people to post some stuff, but I've only I've seen like maybe two or three of them post on maybe three or four post on Instagram and the companies that donated got tagged. And so they were pretty cool. They're pretty happy with that. Micarta. You put it on yours, Nate. Okay. Rado says Micarta. Okay. I'm just trying to think because cold steel has a bali for 13 bucks and you can get 20% right now. Okay. Nice. Carbon fiber. Okay. So I was thinking about reaching out to like rogue blade works and being like, Hey man, you know, he donated, I don't know if you saw, but he donated a set of those they just came out with, and they're sick looking. Yeah, exactly, Morgan. Those were sick, and they were natural. They weren't finished, you know, or sealed up, and so they were basically like, they'll take some, you know, I guess you could say some patina, kind of like this. It takes, like, oils from your hand, so it makes the colors a little different. But I was doing some testing on this bug out, basically using it on the Exotech tonight. And so you can see like a little bit of lines came off. Let me see right here. You can see a little bit of stuff came off on the chromium nitride, I think it is. Chromium nitride coating on this one. It's a 535 GRY-1. But it held up pretty good. It's got a couple stains on the blade from uh, everything coming off and burning right away. But I think if I take this up, let's just clean it up real quick. Got some EDCI formula. We'll get this going. Just clean it up. I got a little on the handle, but that's okay. That'll soak in, come off there. You can see how that just cleans it off, you know? Takes all the markings off of it, all the stuff from before. Let's clean the other side. See if I need to spray this one. Yeah, I might need to spray this side really quick. Put the backspacer on that one. Yeah, <laughs> you'll send me a pick of yours. Yeah, I'm sure, man. There's there's a lot of like crazy used knives out there, you know. And I'm not the craziest user of my EDCs, but you know, I think it's pretty good. So you can see how this stuff just cleans up pretty nice. Behind the camera, it's a little harder, but you know, gets the blade back into good shape for you. You know, if it's an uncoated blade, it does leave a little like you know, smooth coating on it. So it'll help. So it doesn't rust or getting sort of corrosion or patina on your blade, your blade steel, but yeah. So anyways, I really like these from rogue blade works. Those Micarta ones. I hope he does another set like that or something similar. Let's see if I missed what I missed here in the comments, put the backspacer on that one. Yeah. I think the backspacer would look cool on that one. Huh? Let's see. Send a picture of your Clego Oop, with bat and oak with it. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. So put the backspacer on this one, yeah. Sorry, I'll get it all on camera there. So take it off the red one and put it on here, huh? Okay, get another gold one. Love some Macar. Hey, Stasa's here. What's up, Stasa? Love some Macarta bug out scales. All right. Well, cool. Well, I'll reach out to Rogue, man, and see if he wants to donate some or if I can buy some and go from there. 
I know that was one of the things before where, you know, I was, you know, I reached out pretty early to a lot of companies and was crazy excited about all the ones that I got. Nate says, what do you like better, McCarter or Carbon Fiber? Who won the giveaway? You missed the first 10 minutes. Beef or Baron? I'll get back to the McCarter or Carbon Fiber. Just to answer your question on the giveaway. So the giveaway was for Gary Yap. He won the knife roll bag, patch, and the toolkit. That is a second giveaway with a bottle of Knife Pivot Lube Heavy. One of the, I included a Benchmade Ferro Rod, which if you haven't seen those, those just came out today. The new Ferro Rods from Benchmade, the Exotech ones. Uh, it's called the Fire Rod XL. I'll show that again here in a second. And a Benchmade patch. I gave those out. Um, gave that one out. So it was a three-pack giveaway, and that one was from Blackwood Blades won that one. So try to at least do you know a couple giveaways. Oh, thanks, Morgan. I'll check out that, that photo in a little bit. Rock out of here. Dirty and abused. I can't wait to see that one. So, yeah, so the ferro rod fits like a glove in the Puko sh sheath there. But here's your standard one. And one of the things I, you know, I added this really quick here tonight while we were talking. But the cool part is it's got this... Yeah, it's got an awesome anodized handle on it. And I don't know, I, I was, okay, so I haven't looked at like the specs of this. This feels like aluminum, this right here. I'm pretty sure that's aluminum. But it's got the nice little O-ring here. And that O-ring will help seal it. So like I said before, there some smart people talking today. And we're like, yeah, I'll probably put some kerosene or something in here just so it seals up. And it's just always soaking in something. Might be something you can do. So I don't know if you can see, but when you tighten this up, it squishes down that O-ring even more. So you probably don't have to go all the way, but pretty tight. But the other cool part is carbon fiber with tie backspacer for the bug out. That'd be good. Yeah, and then the other thing is, is this ferro rod, when it's all... Now I was told today, when I picked these up, that... These are going to last for over a thousand strikes. So that's pretty cool stuff. So replacement wise, instead of spending the money, you know, the 45 bucks retail or 38 bucks from, you know, some of the other knife retailers is to basically go to Exotech. They're the ones that make this and you can buy the rod itself and it unscrews. It's threaded. So it'll literally unscrew from here. And you just get another rod and replace it. So pretty neat. Or maybe, huh, I like the look of that. wonder if I could make that into like a bead for one of my knives. That's a pretty spendy bead though. It's got some knurling, some grip in here. Doritos catch on fire. Really, a little fire starter Doritos. I know Rado outdoors there is a... Uh, He's a fire expert, so I wonder what his stats are on the the fire worthiness of Doritos. Should I ask Blade Banner how you know this? What flavor? Oh, is it the new fire ones, or is it Cool Ranch? Fritos, huh? Now I'm very excited to hear about this whole Doritos Fritos thing. Is it all? It must be all the oil in there, huh? Oh, you saw a video. Well, now I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the store and buy some Doritos. You got to eat them first. To use the ferro rod instead of just having a lighter. It's a good backup. I think just nacho cheese. Okay, okay, cool, cool. And that's a big thing. Like you've seen a lot of people's, you know, bug out kits and camping kits is, you know, they'll bring a, they'll bring two disposable lighters, you know. They're 50 cents, a buck each or something. And then they'll also wrap some tape, some other things around them to basically, you know, use as fire starter, you know, boom, you're done. Um, you know, if you're doing extreme stuff, you know, this, this is stuff that's like your, okay, yeah, sounds good. I like that idea. Some Fritos. But yeah, um, 
this is something that, you know, it's good to have. That's good to practice with because you want to just definitely have it. And then throw one, buy one, throw one in your kit. Holy cow, dude. I got a donation from Steve Kluver. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Steve. That's awesome. That's really, really nice of you. I forgot I, I enabled that. It's like super chat. We do the super freak chat. John said when he worked at Bass Pro, he used to tell people I have three different ways to start a fire. Uh oh. Oh, like you always carry three different things? Yeah, yeah. Man, thanks, Steve. That's so awesome. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, and Steve, I don't know if you were here earlier when I said uh, Blade Banner asked if you, uh, you had sent me an email about the Kapara. And I haven't got to my emails yet this week. So I've been behind on emails. I think I got over 700 emails that I got to go through. So yeah, Steve's the man, dude. And I don't know if you guys remember, if you saw my 1000 giveaway, um, Steve donated two knives to that and a little giveaway stuff. So that was pretty awesome. You know, as a subscriber, fellow knife enthusiast, that's pretty cool to just have somebody that's, you know, watching your channel go, bam, you know. Let me send some stuff out to you. So you carry a few different ways to start a fire. A few tinders, really. Kalen, what type of tinders do you carry? Thanks again, Steve Kluver. That's awesome. I got to I gotta hook you up with some stuff. And I got a little care package coming your way again here in a, probably about two weeks. Oh, the blind review is wrapping up. Okay. Oh, Steve was part of the blind review. Nice. All right, Randy. Take care, man. Thanks for joining, Randy. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, dude, I love the blind reviews. The blind reviews are awesome stuff. I'm going to move a couple things because I want to try out what you guys are saying, if you don't mind, real quick, about the uh, the backspacer. I'm going to put this stuff over here. If you guys have questions about anything on here, let me know. A pill capsule has dry island in it. A very tiny tin has petroleum jelly. I use a candy container to hold dried grass. Feather sticking is a good way to start a fire, Morgan. Yeah, you know what? That's one of the things. So I have something set up with a friend of mine who is like an outdoorsman expert. And, you know, I got to say I'm a little slacking in that from, uh, you know, my Boy Scout upbringing. But I'm going to set some Doritos on fire for sure. But one of the things I'm going to do is uh, get trained up on some uh, more outdoor skills. Fire starting, feather sticking, things like that. And then now Doritos. So time for Star Trek. Night, John. Thanks for joining, man. Good to, good to chat with you. Maybe we'll uh, hook up sometime soon. Have a good weekend. Let me know about that uh, sequel. You know? All right, let me see. Let's get some get some tools here. Get some tools, make sure we got the right bit. Dutch Bushcraft. They have fun with the Pugo. Yeah, dude, those guys are a hoot. Sounds good, John. Thanks. Yeah, those guys are a hoot hoot. So I wonder if I can cheat on this, but probably not. Uh, can we get this one off easy? Yeah, we'll take it off this side. And you guys can see what this this backspacer looks like. And how it goes on and off. I don't know if you've seen that yet. We'll take this side of the scale off real quick. Thanks again, Kluver, Steve Kluver. That's so awesome. Appreciate the donation. I try to, you know, anybody that's doing live streams, I try to donate some 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 stuff back because, you know, I know all the work it takes to go to like, you know, just get some knives and do some reviews and everything else, put some giveaways together. And I'll tell you what, I was myself, I learned some valuable lessons in my thousand giveaway. So, uh, Kalen says, I'd love to go play in the woods, but since I don't drive, I'm limited to where I can go by bus. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's easy to just do one side. So McCarter carbon fiber bug out scales, which you prefer. Thanks for reminding me, Nate. Uh, I would say probably every day carry. Um, oh, that's cool, Kaylin. I learned on my giveaways because I ended up doing eight packages of giveaways. So I hosted one and there were seven others. One was uh, supplied by Steve Kluver, which was awesome. 
And then, you know, Benchmade donated a whole package of stuff, including a Super Freak knife. CRKT donated a big package. Hogue Knives donated a package. You know, Wesson Goods and Blades donated a package. Selby Knives donated a pack package, you know. Um, hold on here. I think I lost the screw. Where'd it go? Oh, it's down there. So anyway, so those those are just super awesome things that, you know, all these companies donated so much. I probably forgot some. Mighty Hanks, Rogue Blade Works, Rock Scale Designs, all these companies donated stuff. But just the amount of things that came in and the amount of things that needed to go out to different people were, you know, I'm not a, I'm not set up for like commercial shipping or anything like that. So I think if I got it all done at one time, the, it would have been super, super easy. It would have been like, oh, this is great. This is easy. Um, T10 for the pivot, by the way, T6 to get the screws out on this bug out. But the problem was, is so many people They, um, so many people, whoops, sorry. So many people had stuff that were like, yeah, Blade Banner is awesome. Yeah, Banter, okay. Oh, Banner 24 is here. Nice. Hopefully, oh, you must have just joined, I think. Nice. Welcome, man. If you've been here for a while, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, Banner 24 7. He's a good dude, too. How do you like that? Super freak, man. I haven't seen your video yet, but I was like, I saw your uh, Instagram post. Like chopping tons of stuff up. That's awesome. Love it, dude. Just jumped in. Nice, nice. So anyway, so as you can see on this, this backspacer actually sits in here. It's so good. Nice. That's good to hear. It's just loose and sits in here. Yeah, your Super Freak review banner. That's so awesome. I got to go watch it. I got a couple of videos to watch tonight, including the one from Blade Banner. But you can see how it's milled out and it literally just drops onto here. So it's just titanium. It's from Rock Scale Designs. You can see how it's milled out. So I'm going to see how it looks on the other one. Kind of sad because I need to get another one now for this red one. Because I carry this red one all the time. And then I carry the other one today. But we'll have to put some on there. Get it all dialed in. Dude, Jack Farmboy killed it with that Super Freak intro. I mean, music, editing, uh, it was so awesome. If you haven't seen Jack Farmboy's intro and video, nonetheless, on the Super Freak, go check out Jack Farmboy and look at that one. But yeah, I got to check out Banner 24-7s too. Just the one you posted. Did you already post that one, Banter 24-7? Did you already post that one on there? I can't remember because I know I saw the Instagram, so I don't know if you posted the whole thing or not. And I'm just going to tighten these by hand with the bit real quick so I don't lose them. Then we'll put, the, put them on the other Micarta one and see what they look like. Now I'm going to be carrying that Micarta one all the time. I carried it today and loved it. We're great. Saw a 535 with the backspacer. I had to go get one. Oh, really? Nice, Morgan. Did, what color did you get? Did you go with the same one? I dropped my Super Freak initial impressions video tonight as well. Oh, nice. Okay. Stasa's got his on there too. Yeah, dude, I love that Super Freak. That's so good. Anyways, yeah, check those out. Definitely. That's good stuff. You got the gold one. Okay, thanks, Morgan. The bug out thumb studs are aluminum. Can the Anno easily be removed? So they're, they're, uh, they're going to be aluminum like the others. As far as I know, they haven't changed the metal on those. Get to the testing on it. Nice. Nate, I thought I answered that one. On everyday carry, I would go with carbon fiber. Sorry. Uh, the Micarta ones are nice, but the problem with it is um, here in the Pacific Northwest, and we get all sorts of fun weather. And so getting these wet uh, because they're not finished, I would have some problems with that. So... That's the only reason I would go carbon fiber over it. Uh, carbon fiber, you know, you use it in the rain, get it wet, all sorts of stuff. I have a job where I'm outside, like, you know, half of my my work day. So I would need to basically make sure that, you know, all my stuff can get soaking wet because God bless the Northwest rain. Hey, JT's here. 
Anyone else think the Super Freak is the best bench band along? Oh, man. I'm with you on that one. 100%. And also, just a reminder, JT's Knife Life just jumped on here with everybody else. But we kind of have this little uh, 5,000 mark that he's really, really close to. And we're trying to get him to 5,000. So make sure to hook him up. JT, man. Dude, I saw. Hey, are you still at the game there? I saw you posted that little deal on Instagram about being at the game. You were just a spectator, though. Wonder how that game's going. Did you win? <laughs> I'm just kidding. JT was watching a game and posted a little picture of his activities at the game. Looks like he was having fun, though. That's the good part. So here's the Micarta. We'll take a peek at this really quick. Still got the booze in me, though. Just not at the game. Nice. Right on. So these Micarta scales... These are from Rogues. You can see Rogues markings there and how they're milled out. Just amazing. And they hold up so good. You know, not much flex to them at all. I really like them. I know you guys like them too, but I just want to show you the inside while we put this other one on. That's good stuff. Anyways, there's the rest of it. Probably needs a little cleaning, but let's do this. Put a little knife pivot lube in there just for fun because it hasn't had any in a while. We got in there. Maybe one drop on this side. There we go. Get that worked in in a minute. But let's get the backspacer on. And see, it just literally drops down onto the, the barrel spacers. Drops right on top of them. And it just fits right, right quite nicely on there. It's supposed to. There you go. Boom. Done. Kind of snaps into place. And just good to go. So we'll put the other one on here. Put it back together. Look at that. That looks pretty sick. I like that look. Good call. Good call. Very good call. Yeah, very much so. Now that just means I got to order some more. So I don't know if you guys saw my last titanium scales for the Osborne. I can show you that in a second. They, I think Rock Scale said he's up in his website this weekend, Saturday. So that's one of those things that he's going to sell a bunch of stuff. I'm going to try to get another backspacer. I also put in a request for the blue anodized version. Yeah, exactly. Super Freak being one of the best. Benchman in a long time. Yeah, totally. But I'm trying to get the blue anodized version of this because I have a, uh, a whole set of blue like thumb studs and barrel spacers I want to do. So I think that'll look sick. But then I'm trying, I'm really trying to get that other set of purple scales from Rogue Blade Works. So I've been chatting with him about that, but he's doing a run for another run of a whole bunch of scales for Smoky Mountain Knife Works that he's sending out. So looks like it went good for him on that. So that's good. Yeah, that's good stuff. JT, man. We gotta get you to 5,000, buddy. I'm gonna hook that up by this weekend. Oh, I missed that, Kluver. What do you say? Has Rogue Blade Works mentioned to you recently if they have the full size freak scales about ready to sell? I haven't talked to him about that. I'll have to ask. I know he was working on bug out scales, the titanium ones. I think he was getting those milled out and ready to go. Um,. And I don't know if he's selling that through Smoky Mountain or his own website. From it, looking at his website, it looks like he's going to do his own on that, which would kind of be cool. Um, I'll have to try those out for sure. But all he mentioned was the uh, he was doing some G10 ones and then bug out ones and those other ones. But he didn't mention on the freak ones yet. But he said they were coming soon last time. He was mentioning stuff, I think, in his messages to people. So, 
JT's Knife Live. Smokey's jumping on it. Uh, they'd be next for a year. That's good. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. That's really good stuff. Yeah, what do you guys think? You think that's the setup, or should I put them back on the red one? Kind of looks nice, all blends in. They just dyed the scales. I don't know what you're talking about, Tucker. Oh, those blacked out one or mods. Yeah. So if you haven't done it, um, I in the Puko for a while. Too many knives in the queue. Yeah, I prefer the Micarta. All right, Morgan, I'll try it out, buddy, for you. I'll carry it again tomorrow. Oops, sorry. I'll carry it again tomorrow. Post another picture of it with the, the backspacer, too. I like the look of that. Yeah. Hey, you're welcome. No, I like your guys' ideas, man. You know, sometimes it's always good to get more eyes on stuff and then go, oh, cow, look at that. Oh, okay. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, thanks, Nate. That's good stuff. So any of these other knives you guys want to look at or talk about? I know some of those are kind of boring, but we've got some other ones we can put out there. But I really have to say, though, these mini freak scales. I'm hoping those get some more come out of those really soon. Cause I want to get those black ones like JT had black ones with the backspacer. Those were smoking hot. I was kind of hoping deep down, like I'd win that set, but I know obviously, you know, got to give them away to people. But I was like, man, hope I want JT's. Do I have the international 940 handy? I could go get it. Do you want me to go get it? You guys talk amongst yourselves for a second. Maybe I'll put out another 940 or two here. And you guys talk amongst yourselves and I'll go get. Here's the here's the one JT that started it all. For Benchmade, am I able to buy upgraded steel blades? I think you can send them in and get an upgraded steel blade as long as they make them for that one. And they'll put them on there for you. Or just get a hold of me and I'll go check. I think I go tomorrow. They've done they've done upgraded blades on different knives for me already. Titanium bug out. Somebody's talking about that. Is that one you want to see? I can grab my bug outs too. The fax fidget factor. Too tight for the fidget. This one doesn't fidget at all. I mean, lockup, almost got myself, lockup solid on this one. This is the silver twill. Somebody likes that. Yeah, dude, mini griptilian. Yeah, that silver twill is awesome you have. All right, I'm going to go grab that stuff. Be right back.
right, you guys all still there? Lose anybody? Lost a couple people. All right, we're back. Go tell them to come back. I had to grab this one too. The Mini Freak with the Natural G10 from Rogue Blade Works. It's a smoking one. Got my bug outs. Kind of looks like that CRKT patch. It's going to fall down on the back. Yeah. It probably will. It'd be nice. I did order. You guys mentioned the other night that Bastion was uh, one of those where they have like a, a Velcro like material thing. So I went ahead and ordered one of those. So I can put these back up there just so y'all can see them. Showed up late. What up, Taylor? And then let's see, everyone is selling those bug outs. Yeah, I might. All right. We'll get JT some channel stickers. I am going to make a patch wall. That's the goal. So here's some of that beautiful carbon fiber from Rogue Blade Works. Just look at that. Just beautiful. So when these pop back on the website for him soon, grab a set. And I know he's got some going to Smoky Mountain as well. So keep an eye on there. These are those, that Critter Scales, the gold and blue. But yeah, <laughs> those are awesome. And then I got them in the, like a flat blue, gray blue. Uh, what are you talking about? The bench made with what? Oh, with the scales. And this is the dark blue that I dyed the other bench made. And then, or the other bug out. And then here's the, an, another set of those carbon fiber on just a standard 535 bug out. But the carbon fiber is just beautiful. So let's see, which ones you guys want to check out? And you guys said something about the, let me move a few of these things out of the way. You guys looking at the 940 up here? Got the Knifeworks exclusive, still got it, 20 CV. Sculpted G10, 20 CV bug out, that would be a sweet one. That would be a sweet one. The flat blue, yeah, the flat blue is sick. I love it. So nice. Hard to choose between the titanium or carbon fiber. I might just have to get, hey, I did the same thing, Nate. I mean, the carbon fiber, you got to get the carbon fiber either way. I mean, those are, those are just the ish, so to speak. You know, no flex. Stasa said my brother still has the bug out ever since I loaned him mine to prove to him that he would want one. So now he has bought his own and is still holding mine prisoner. What's up with that, dude? That's crazy. And this is my original 940 from about 15, 16 years ago. Eight of a thousand. First production run. Got me into the serrated. You can see how much they've sharpened off of here. Because those are usually even. Let me see if I have it. I don't know if I have another one serrated, though, for the 940. But we can just show another 940. So you can see how much they've sharpened off the blade there. Put them up like that. So you can see how much they've taken off. Taken off a good amount of blade. So it's all good though. Yeah, dude, the carbon fiber is the way to go. I just have to say that because it is. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I love carbon fiber. TPU. Salt retracted. Let's see. Okay, so JT said, where's that international? <clears throat> Here's the international, man. This is just a beauty of a knife. And this is the 940-1801 limited edition international 940. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Do a live video with everybody. 
So the 940, yes and no. I have a couple connections. Um, you know, I love the blade on it. I love the coloring. This is like a powder coated uh, aluminum. So it's kind of like the same material that this green's made of. And it just has that kind of a uh, little bit of chalky feel to it, but obviously will rub off and smooth out the more you use it. I haven't EDC'd this one at all. This one's just been in the box in the safe for obvious reasons. Um, it's got the kind of that bluish green color to it with the gold backspacer made for obvious country colors. Blade Banner said, I'd love to see a Griptilian or a Mini Grip with the same contouring of the 940. Oh, yeah, that would be so awesome. They do a Mini Grip like that. I got the full-size grip, so put some contouring like that. I've seen the contouring come out. Yeah, the light catches that so awesome. Just beautiful. But I've seen the, uh, the stuff that uh, Death Grips, Death of All Things on Instagram, he makes these these scales and does some cool milling on them and some rad colors. I got a couple different custom ones from him on the Griptilian and a mini Griptilian. I was supposed to order another set from him, but I've been waiting and contemplating cause I bought a couple other knives and yeah. But anyways, yeah, these are nice. I'm, I'm not, the only thing I'm not a fan of and I don't know why, maybe it's cause it's shiny, but it's a split arrow. There are some scales for the 535 that I believe look like. So they make some, there's some milled out ones that uh, the Rogue Blade Works makes. And he has them kind of milled out. So these are the ones that he's made right here. Let me put this up here so you guys can see it. But the ones that he's made, um, like for these, are his are the one pattern. And the other ones are more of a sculpted. So they kind of they kind of come milling in here and milling in the top, if that's what you're talking about. Those are the ones that he he just donated a set of those Macarta ones for my giveaway. Yeah, it would be kind of cool, Nate, if that you know if they made the Damascus pocket clip. I mean, I don't think it would raise the price by that much. I mean, maybe like fifty bucks or something. I don't know how much it would cost to make the Damascus steel blade out of this, but you'd think they'd have enough steel to do it. But I don't know. I'm not a split arrow fan, but you can see the inside of that even just pops and then reflects off the liners. That's sick. I wish I got two of these, but I only got one. And you can see how smooth it is just from pulling the access lock back. So I've literally done nothing to this one. No adjustments, no extra oil. And I haven't carried it either. So Blade Banner, thanks, man. I really appreciate you joining. That's so awesome. Don't forget, go check out Blade Banner's video on all the lubrication testing that he's done. I'm going to go check it out when I'm done with this one, but it looks sick. So much testing. So awesome. Yeah, thanks, Blade Banner. Sasa said the 940 be so much better with a leaner primary grind, at least in my opinion. I know I would carry mine twice as much, especially since it's such a great EDC platform in all our dimensions. Yeah, I think, you know, yeah, you're welcome, Blade Banner. Yeah, I think that would be true, you know. Taylor's pocket's jealous for your beautiful... T thank you, thank you. I worked hard to get it. So, what's up, EDC gear and pocket knife? Welcome, welcome. But I think that's one of the hard things is, you know, you look at the, the actual, you know, design of this, blade-wise, and you look at, you know, obviously this is Damascus steel, but... And then you go back to the original one from 15, 16 years ago, and it's the exact same. Now, this one is minus a whole bunch of material because it's been sharpened numerous times. But, yeah, I mean, that's one of those things, man, you know. They would stay with the OG, you know, kept it original, which to me I kind of like. But they could maybe even do, because, you know, they've kind of changed the blade shape and gone with you know like the 943 i know uh jt has 943 i have one as well your wife is watching and she identified the anthem by the tiny part oh proud husband amen brother 
Yeah, this right here, and I have to say this. So I do have to say this about this anthem. This anthem was a gift. So this was a gift from my significant other and for this Chris last Christmas. So kind of kind of happy and bummed at the same time that I didn't get to open it on Christmas because Benchmade was all out of them. So it was a good problem to have because the video I got to do is going to show you this is all one piece of titanium milled out. And the amount of time it takes to make one of these is just ridiculous milling. You know, thrust bearing, so smooth. You know, I gave this to somebody a couple days ago. And the first thing they did was like pull the access lock back and it just got them. You know, it came back on their fingers because they had their fingers like right here when they're holding it. And it's like, bam, just like a guillotine. It's just, and it's so smooth, but I love this one. So that's why I even carried it today. So very appreciative for this gift. And JT, if your wife identified this one, that's a good sign. Oh, Stasa, you let one go? What the heck? That's wild. But yeah, you can see everything inside. They put all the mechanisms inside, so there's nothing through there. All one piece, so pretty good stuff. But yeah, so any of these other ones you guys want to check out? Anybody that just joined? I gave one of these away tonight, which is the Benchmade's new ferro rod, which they call the Fire Rod XL because it's made from Exotech. And then their branding stuff's put on it along with a very cool anodized blue aluminum. I put some paracord on tonight, but got some fire starter material in there. Nice little container if you want to put stuff in there. You know, I guess if you're not going to use it for fire starter, you could put your pills in there or whatever sort of mischievous stuff you want. But yeah, I'm going to try to do it. Probably not tonight, but I might do it tonight. How often do I use my lynch clip? Are you talking about the lynch clip on my knife? Like on this one? So on this one, like I have a deep pocket lynch clip on this one for Benchmade. I use that all the time. If we had a channel, it would all be four letter words. Super Steel Steve would be shocked. <laughs> or are you talking about the all access pass? Oh, you meant the little pocket tool. Yeah, the Lynch uh, All Access Pass. This is a version three. I use it quite a bit. You know, you can see from, uh, I mean, you know, it's all scratched up from being used, pried on, all sorts of stuff. So you traded it for a millet torrent to a good friend. Oh, that's a good trade. I got you. Yeah, the Access Pass. Yeah, want to buy one at your pricey. Yeah, they are. I mean, you could get them used every once in a while. People usually keep them once they get them, you know? I mean, mine's pretty used. I just got a version, what was it, 1.2, I think, maybe a month ago when they came out. You know, every once in a while, like, I know uh, Hitch and Timber had a special edition one come out through them, and he's going to be releasing some more here soon, he said. A couple different ones. And then pocket knives, they all pop up, and... You know, like all of us, you know, he's pretty good about, you know, if you need, if you truly need something, he'll try to hook you up. And there's a couple websites that still have some of his stuff laying around, but. So I asked this earlier, what do you want for the used one? Hunter Monopoly money. Yeah, I got plenty of Monopoly money. I got two of them, two board games of it. But I was asking this earlier, but now that you guys are here, like Banter 24-7, JT, and Stasa, what are you guys carrying tonight? Or what are you guys carrying today? What do you guys got? I'm looking at your time here. Hold on. So it's about 9.45 Pacific time. So you guys are probably after midnight there. Pretty darn close. I don't know how far you are over there. Need to get the, the longer all-access pass. Just picked the version 2. I mean, the pot clip is why I love it. Oh, okay. Maybe it was the version 2 I got. I'll have to go look. It was either 1.2 or 2. The eagle on it. Oh, that'd be cool. One with the eagle. Nice. 
Laconico semi-custom Jasmine. Oh, nice. Demon's got the pair of 3M4. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. I don't know if you guys can see all these. Carried the Viper earlier, and then, oh, the Balloon, and the Kaiser Cordo tonight. Oh, very sweet. I haven't seen that Kaiser. I'll have to check that one out. Year 1148 Minnesota. All right, all right. That's cool. I like that. Well, again, I have to give a shout out. Thank you to Steve Kluver. Hooked me up in the super chat with a couple ducats. So thank you. Sasa's got the Shadow Neon Light, Kapara, the Knife Guys Pry Bar. Oh, Kapara, nice. Yeah, I got to do my review on it this weekend. Be doing some stuff outside with a couple knives on it. Rado, good night, man. Appreciate you stopping in and hanging out and chatting and all the good stuff that comes from you. So thank you. Yeah, Stasa has a nice hookup, man. Like dialed in there. So what's on your guys' list for next? What are you guys getting next? Like what's on the what's on your list today kind of thing? I gotta move this really quick. Get that last screw. What's what's the knife that's on the order? Did you guys see that that uh, shaman that Blade HQ is gonna release on Monday? And like shut down the websites. Scale Nate says scales and then a Kaiser Gemini. Tucker says a Z Hunter. Nice, nice. Benchmade North Fork access. In your pocket. Nice, Taylor. Reprofile the blade to be a little straighter. Oh, cool. So you took that belly out of it? I wonder how that looks without the little belly on it. Probably pretty good. Been hunting for a steel wheel gecko. Okay, sweet. <clears throat> Here it is back with the... It's a little lighter now, but... That natural... Yeah, the natural G10 Shaman is gorgeous. I saw that today. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, Nick Shabazz says that Z Hunter. Yeah, you can find them for under 10. That's good. Yeah, I saw, you know, I saw something that Nick posted. Hey, Steve Kluver, thanks, man. I appreciate it again for shooting me on the super chat, man. That's very, very nice. I'll put that to good use, giving back, definitely. So, have a good night. Get some rest. I'll catch up with your emails tonight, so appreciate it. But anyways, yeah, everybody say goodnight to Steve. Tell him thanks. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure the big guy's got some big plans coming up, so that's good. Full size or mini? So this right here is JT Customized. It's going to show this off again. And look at the, the lettering here for my name. So sweet. The fade on it. Got the little acid wash to everything. Taylor says it's nice without the belly. Much better than factory. Can't decide Lansky Diamond or the KME. Start with the Lansky. It's cheaper. Get practice and then get a, get a KME after that. All I have to say is, if you're looking for a honey badger, which this is, it's in the $30 range. This is the medium-sized one. So, you know, if you like your bug-out size, I mean, look at the comparison to that. Almost the same. Oh, I think I missed it, Damon. Hold on. Good night, Steve. Thanks again, man. Uh, I missed your. I missed it, Damon. Sorry. I was trying to find what you said, but I missed it, I think. You can ask again. I'll look at it. But, yeah. Honey Badger, you got the, this is the medium size on the bottom, Honey Badger. It's almost equal to a bug out. So if you got a bug out, you know exactly what you're getting here. But on the Honey Badger, you get the flipper tab and a liner lock. And it's 30, I don't know, 36 bucks maybe. So fits nice. If all four fingers here, I wear a large size glove. Plus you can get up in here. 
Here, your finger twirl, and it's not going to get on the on the knife. I'm not worried about getting it on that blade when I'm doing that. So, and I think you can also use this, the finger hole or the thumb hole. I'm getting learned up on that one still, but I just use the flipper on it. It's nice. But JT, this is it, man. Yeah, so direct message him, shoot him a message on Instagram, but make sure to follow him on YouTube. Make sure to follow everybody on here, man. People that are commenting on here, Stasa23, Banter247, Steve Kluver's got some stuff that he's going to post up, JT's Knife Life, which we're trying to get JT to 5,000 this weekend. So if you know some people that aren't following JT's Knife Life, Hook them up. Make sure to follow him because we want to get him to five thousand. So we're gonna we're gonna make sure you know he gets rolling, gets moving. We're the goal. The the inside joke is we're gonna have him catch slicey, slicey dicey. So blade banners too. Blade banner does so much work for all of us. It's just amazing. So he gets all these knives sent out to us so we can you know review them like this one. It's going back out Saturday. But this one right here, he's getting this one out, you know. I got another one that's arriving tomorrow. But this is the MBK. And I think 24-7, uh, Banter 24-7, just had that one. But, you know, things like this. I think this one was actually uh, JT's, JT Knife Life. He sent this into the pass around because we had so many people sign up for it. Um... The one that got donated to the, to the channels, it was going to take, you know, eight months to pass a knife around with so many people that signed up for it. So he had one, he donated it, which is awesome. So thanks, man. So just want to try to show him some love. He's got a great channel. Plus he's a Star Wars fan. So, you know, it's all good. All right, Stasa, got to hit the sack so I can get up in the morning, get my daughter to school. Yep, exactly. I love that hashtag. Get JT over 5K. Dude, I'm going to use that tomorrow. I'll use it tonight on Instagram. Link his stuff. Yeah, that's cool. We try to help each other grow, you know. Take care of Nick. Yeah, man, it's awesome. That's so good. Banter 24-7. Just posted up some good stuff today. He's got some stuff going on the Super Freak. Did some awesome cutting tests, it looks like. Can't wait for that to drop. Stasa got his Super Freak video up. Banter 24-7's got his lubrication stuff. Yeah, yeah. Get Zach over 2,000. Yeah, I'm down with that. Yeah, if I could hit... So here's the deal. Like, what is it today? Like, the 14th? So it's March 14th. Depends on where you're at. It might be March 15th. That'd be one of those things where it'd be like, man, let's do it. Yeah, later, Stasa. <laughs> That's awesome. It'd be one of those, uh, yeah, get Zach stuff over 2,000. Heck yeah, dude. But if I can get over 2,000 within the next, like, before tax day, man, that would be sweet. So get J JT over 5K. I post it on Instagram. Yep, we'll get it started. But that would be sweet. I mean, you know, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be having as big as a giveaway as my 1,000 because all these companies are like, dude, we just donated a couple months ago to you. And I know, Tucker, to answer your question, uh... Earlier, I saw your stuff about Benchmade. Benchmade has some very strict rules on their giveaways because or donations because they do so much for the community already. No pun intended, but like giveaway wise, donation wise, so they have a they have a set procedure policies. So my giveaway came from their entire team, but was really pushed through social media. So their normal donation stuff, it didn't. It, it was you know obviously paid for, hosted by that, but their social media stuff, you know, the the awesome staff there is just great. So, you never did a full review, JT? Oh, man, that's a bummer. I'll have to do that. But, yeah, so that'll be one of the things that, you know, Benchmade's very cool about that stuff. Uh, I have a pretty good relationship with them and their employees, and it was really, really nice of them to donate, you know, what they did. You know, they donated a whole package of stuff you guys saw, so... A, you know, super freak, a bag, you know, all sorts of things. So, yeah. So, it's good people out there. I mean, CRKT, Hogue, all those companies, you know, Selby Knives, Wesson Knives, which they have a Kickstarter going for their new almond. 
AL MAN, which is a bigger size knife, maybe comparable to the bug out. I haven't seen the size. I got to check one out, a prototype at Blade Show West, and uh, I loved it. So they just posted that up. So I signed up for one of those. Got a titanium one, so that'd be awesome. Taylor, take care. Have a good night, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, hit me up on my channel, Damon. Yeah. Or are you talking to somebody else? You're probably talking to somebody else, too. I missed your comment from before. Oh, yeah, you're talking to JT on that. Yeah, yeah, you got to talk to JT. He'll hook you up on this. He'll do all these custom mods. Right on. Thanks, Tucker. Get JT over 5K page. <laughs> That's funny. That's awesome. But, yeah, JT will do all these mods for you. You know, he did this one for me. I picked up this one, you know, had him get this one purchased for me. Went through, just, you know, I said, man, do it up. You know I like purple. I'm just kidding. I didn't even tell him that. I just said, hey, you know you know, you know know what I like. Hook it up. And he dialed it in for me. So thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that. I'm, I've been taking this one everywhere with me. I went I went to hit up family and friends and all that this last weekend. And I so I sent him a message. I'm like, hey, you guys have been watching some of my stuff, seeing some of my Instagram. What are some knives you guys want to see? And, like, everybody's like, do we want to see the Honey Badger? Bring the honey badger. That's so awesome. Like they were like, yeah, yeah, it's okay. You know, that's great. You got a super freak. That's great. You got a new, you know, titanium, you know, scales for, you know, Osborne 940. That's great. That's great. We want to see the honey badger. We want to see JT's work. So I think he's been going to get a lot more orders off that. So I haven't done Tucker. I haven't done any mirror edges on anything. I don't like my edges like that. So Somebody else might be able to answer that question for you about the Lansky versus the KME on the other one. Nate, you got the Lion Steel Rock? Nice. I got to check that one out. What did I do to my finger? I ripped the skin off the top of my knuckle tonight. So, right at the end of work. So, pretty rad stuff, you know. One of those like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do a live stream tonight. And then, bam, rip up your finger. You're like, oh, that'll look pretty awesome. But it's okay. You know, a little soap and water and some Band-Aids. Good to go. But, yeah. So what do you guys think? What would you guys like to see scale-wise? Sounds like for my 1750, I'm going to try to get some carbon fiber scales and give those out for the bug out. As my giveaway, that'd be pretty rad. Cause I could probably get, you know, in the next maybe couple weeks, get this up. Yeah, you're welcome, Nate. That would be awesome. And here's the deal: if you know, if I can't get a set from Rogue, you know, within the next few weeks, then maybe, maybe I'll take one of these apart. You know, maybe I'll burn one of these up. And you know, these are pretty indestructible. And I think even the ones I've carried don't have any real marks on them. So even even this set, give it away. Man, I still got the packaging for it. So I could, hook, I could I could take one of these apart and you know hook you guys up. I think the most recent one I put on there is the ones with uh, which we'll call it the other one. He ripped off what? What are you saying? Oh, he ripped off a nail. Oh, thanks, Nate. I appreciate it. Yeah, JT, man, I'm so happy with it. That's so awesome. I move it down so you can see it. Da -da -da -da. But yeah, one of one of the knives that I was really happy to get was this Going Gear 940. You know, I picked this up here a couple years ago when it first came out. You probably saw my other live feed, maybe, but um, it's good. It's good. Interest in modding Delicas? Are you talking to JT or me? I haven't done any acid washing or stone washing stuff. No, this one doesn't glow. I haven't tried it, though. I guess I could double check it. Wouldn't that be a crazy deal if all of a sudden it's like, oh, this one glows, too? Doesn't look like it. That's a good question, though. No, no glowing on that one. But that would be cool if all of them did. Yeah, it's hard. You know, I've been collecting that stuff and building that up. And, you know, it's one of those things where 
you know, I know JT bought some from Rogue. And then I saw it and I'm like, I gotta get some of those. And then I think like half the knife community saw his video and was like, dude, I need to get some of those too. And all of a sudden, bam, gone. So I know he's got a lot of new machines and he's geared up for a lot of new material coming. So I'm pretty excited for what I'm seeing from that. Yeah, Damon, man, you know, I didn't want to bring that up because I don't know how people feel about that, but... That was one of those things that, you know, I was just getting heavy into, like, collecting knives and doing some stuff and really, really looking at flashlights and really, you know, I mean, my interest in 940 pulled me to their website to check this one out, you know, and in doing so, you know, really got me to liking their YouTube and their posts for Marshall and I was like, Oh my gosh, you know, and then that was pretty darn tragic and to have his dad come on and kind of explain things and, you know, I looked up and saw kind of what was going on in the local news out there. So you kind of see what happened and it's just, it's a terrible accident. It just, you know, goes to show how like very, very uh, important life is and to be kind to one another and, you know, anyways, but I definitely want to make sure to get one of these just because of that, you know, and this was, I picked up this one beforehand, you know, before Marshall passed. And then, uh, afterwards, you know, I did another run on these, uh, here recently. And so I was like, man, I gotta make sure to get one that's just pristine, keeping in good, good condition, you know, but anyways, so yeah, JT, you were talking about, uh, the rogue scales have progressed so far since I got my scales, but man, mine are still so good. Yeah, totally. You know, everything keeps getting better and better. But damn, it was just a tragic accident. I think it was a car accident kind of thing that, you know, he died in. And so it was a bummer deal, especially the local community for there. And, you know, I could only imagine with just the charisma and everything that, you know, went into his making of his videos. It was like, to, to meet him in person, probably would have just been amazing. You know, one of those amazing people that just are just, you know, full of life and, you know, so giving and generous and so, like, happy and, you know, yeah. So, if you get an opportunity, uh, I, don't, I haven't gone to see if they're still up. I would hope they're still up on the Going Gear YouTube channel. Then maybe you can go back, watch some of his videos because he's a pretty cool dude. I really enjoyed watching his videos and, you know, he, you know, according to his family and his father was the driving force behind making this happen with Benchmade. So pretty cool deal. You know, you know, I know, I know a small bit about what goes into making the, you know, these, you know, exclusives through some companies, you know, the knife works has theirs and, uh, these red carbon fiber ones from Smoky Mountain. And this is theirs. I still don't know why, like, maybe they just didn't want to be, like, going gear. But, like, they went with, like, the smoke gray barrel spacers. And you got red carbon fiber and all that. I'm like, man, red would have popped. But maybe too much red for them. But, you know, this is their design of it. You know, they sat down with, with uh, Benchmade and said, let's do this. And I know it's not, like, really easy to do. And take, you know, like a week. It takes, like months and months and months sometimes a year or more oh thanks tucker no dude you know you know we we have a deal going we we are you know i wanted to hook you up with some stuff and take care of you you got a channel you got a channel just growing so like all of us you know you know it was like one of the things that was funny i told this story before but one of the things to get jt to where he's at to go to five thousand um, was one of the things where, you know, I had 17 subscribers, I think maybe 15 subscribers on YouTube and I was putting videos out there, you know, no tripod, no nothing, just kind of resting my phone on a box and I need to go back and redo some of those videos. Cause I did one with like this international 940, you know, and stuff. And it wasn't like a real in-depth video and the lighting was real poor and, you know, so I'll probably redo some of those, especially, you know, include some of the other 940s I got and stuff, but it was just crazy because it's like, you know, JT came across my stuff being a fan of Benchmade and he's like, man, this dude's got some quick videos, you know, and 
goes over quite a bit of cool knives and has a good little Benchmade collection going. So he gave me a shout out and, you know, I didn't even know he gave me a shout out on one of his videos um, because I watched some of his stuff. But then all of a sudden it was like, before I got a chance to watch his, it was like, bam, 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 bam. All of a sudden I started getting all these subscribers, you know, and I'm like, what in the world's going on? And then, you know, here within a couple days I had watched JT's video and I'm like, man, he just hooked me up, man. You know, gave me all these shout outs. So that's why I like with Tucker's channel, you know, Tucker's just starting out on YouTube, you know, go, go check out Tucker's, you know, videos. He's building up some stuff. So I sent him out a, a bunch of knives to check out and stuff from my collection. And so hope he's enjoying them. I know it looks like he is looking at videos and on Instagram. So yeah, we help each other out. That's what the knife community is about. It's what Marshall's about, you know, going gear, all that stuff, you know? So some good people, good knives, but anyways, that's what I got going. You guys got anything else you want to talk about or any other knives you want to see that are out here? Also, don't forget, if you like these pocket caddies, go basically say, pick one of these up. This one's leather, but he also makes them recycled firefighter.com. Um, I don't own an Opinel. Opinel. I don't, Morgan. I'm sorry. These are one of the ones that... This pocket caddy's great. Um, he makes it in a fire hose material as well, so it's super crazy rugged. But this is the one that I was talking about earlier where you can just start throwing stuff in here and throw it in your pocket. And this is the ones... I, I, I purchased these myself, but he's got a deal going right now, and you can jump online and pick those up, but... I use mine and another material coming. So you can throw all this stuff in there, throw it in your pocket. You're going to know where all of it's at. You're done. So I could probably move those two around. But anyways, you know what I'm saying? If you like that kind of stuff, go check it out. It's really, really rugged stuff. This stuff is actually, oops, this stuff is actually like from that boot leather that he has. And it's nice. You can just throw this in your pocket. Done. So. Yeah, check those out. These are the stuff that I paid for, but it's just stuff that I like and enjoy. Um, haven't gotten anything in return for anything I've said nice about it, but I've used uh, my, I have a little gear bag that I keep with me and it's got, you know, knife tool stuff and bottle of KPL and blue lube and yeah. Anyways, and I got a little, you know, a couple front pocket wallets and stuff from him and Cabin's wallet. So yeah, some good stuff. But anyways, I think I'll wrap it up, man. I've been going on here for a while. But I just really appreciate the interaction with you guys and chatting with you guys. So, yeah. Nate, I appreciate you hanging out, you know. You guys are awesome. So, couldn't do this without you guys and have fun, have all the good interaction without you guys either. So, if you haven't seen it, Benchmade's new ferro rod. That's good stuff. Check it out. It's good happenings. It's nighttime here, obviously, so I'm going to go and try to make a little video before I go to bed and watch a couple videos from Blade Banner and Banner 24-7 and I'm sure JT, Stasa, everybody's got some stuff up there. So, Anyways, you guys have an awesome, awesome night. I really appreciate it. Have a good weekend. Thanks for joining me for my live giveaways. And I'll be posting up a video this weekend about my... Uh, Whatchamacallit. Yeah, take care, Banner. And I'll be posting up my 1750 giveaway probably at the end of the weekend once I get it figured out. So, yeah, I know. The Holy Grail 940 right here, buddy. That's a crazy one. Yeah, good luck, Nate. And hopefully we'll see some stuff posted up from Rogue, too. I really like your guys' idea on this micarta and running that backspacer over to it. So, looks cool. I'm going to carry that one again. So, all right, JT. Have a good night, man. You guys take care, okay? Later.